If you're in the VFX, CG, or filmmaking world, you've undoubtedly heard about all the recent advancements and progression with AI art generators. I watched Corridor Crews and Max Novak's videos on Stable Diffusion, and I went to go download it for myself, only to find out that I can't do it with my Mac Mini M1. But then I came across Diffusion B, and Diffusion B is similar to that of Mid Journey, but the thing about Mid Journey was that they only offered a limited time free trial, and then you had to pay monthly after that. Diffusion B is completely free, it's easy to download, and it's compatible with your M1 and M2. Though I will say it's definitely not as cool as Stable Diffusion like seen in Corridor's video. I really enjoyed using Mid Journey for creating concept art, backgrounds for videos, and backgrounds for thumbnails. So now I get to do this on Diffusion B with the added feature of image to image. The only difference though between this and Stable Diffusion is there's no way for me to train Diffusion B on an image of me saying that this is Victor Hughes, so generate Victor Hughes. And unfortunately it doesn't work like that. So I plug in this photo and then I type in white male kneeling in front of a waterfall and then it gives me this interesting looking gentleman. And the problem is I feel like no matter how much I explained how I look, it would never nail my look exactly. So I decided to go with one of my celebrity lookalikes back when I had hair and a beard and that is Conor McGregor. Now on Diffusion B they also let you adjust some certain settings which Mid Journey didn't have. I haven't used Mid Journey in a few weeks, so maybe they've added that feature. One of the settings is input strength, and it seems like the lower you go on the input strength, the less it's going to actually reference or care about the photo that you are supposed to be using as reference. And then the higher you go on the input strength, the less it seems to even try to manipulate that reference image. Now here you can see the opposite sides of the spectrum. The low input strength, we've got McGregor and a waterfall, and that's it. It barely looks like my image. Then we go to the highest input strength, all they did was warp like my eyebrow ridge, it looks ridiculous. You can also adjust the number of steps, which seems to act like samples or passes. So the amount of detail that the AI will be applying. Something else you can do is upscale your AI generated art and then send it over to the image to image in case you really like the composition or the colors and then you can exchange some of the characters for different types of characters. So Cyborg Pikachu for Darth Vader. So if you're looking to test the waters with AI generated art, this is a pretty non-intimidating solution it's easy to download it's free it works with your m1 or m2 and overall is a decent option for the time being just be warned the results you can get on some of the prompts that you type in can be super frustrating and completely inaccurate and that's all i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something if you did leave me a thumbs up comment what you thought down below and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one